Hi, I want to give you some practice doing two things. Number one, identifying. Um, are these half reactions gaining or losing electrons? And number two, how to balance a half reaction just with the electrons? Okay, so I have four examples up here. Always where you begin is write oxidation numbers. So number one, I'm going to write those oxidation numbers. Uh, so let's start with our chlorine. Uh, we have chlorine in its elemental form, chlorine all by itself. It's a gas, so oxidation number is zero. Now it's going to go to its monoatomic ion, the chloride ion. So its charge is its oxidation number, which is a minus one. So I notice that the oxidation numbers change from reactants to products. I'm going to go ahead and draw my bracket. And now we're thinking, did this gain or lose electrons? This is really the hardest part. If you can do this, you are golden on doing redox. Okay. I'm going from, remember I say zero, let's establish this as a baseline. I'm going from zero to a minus one. Minus one means that I gained an electron. Remember anything negative means I have extra electrons, more electrons than protons. And if I have anything positive, it means I've lost electrons. There's more positive protons in the nucleus than there are electrons in the energy levels. So positive, let's write this down. Positive means that we've lost electrons. Negative means we've gained electrons. So that negative means that I've gained an electron. So I'm going from perfect zero to I'm up by one. I have an extra electron. Well, you always look at the change. Going from zero to up by one, what happened? We gained an electron. So this gain one electron. Okay, now I had two chlorines, two chlorines, of course. Um, one chlorine gained one electron. We always write oxidation numbers for one atom. So one chlorine gained one electron, but I've got two chlorines. So I'm going to multiply that by my two atoms, which is going to give me a total of two electrons gained. Okay, two electrons gained. Um, so number two, you're going to determine if we gain or lose electrons. And number three, label. Number four is balance with electrons. Okay, so gain electrons, go to our little saying, Leo the lion says grr, grr, gain electrons reduction. So this is reduction. Little reminder, whatever species is reduced is going to be an oxidizing agent. So I put that as OA, it's going to be an oxidizing agent. Um, last thing that we have to do, so this brings in balancing half reactions. Um, I am going to gain two electrons. How do I write that down? How do we write down that we gain two electrons? Well, I'm going to have to, over here, put down, if I add two electrons to this, it's going to give me the, the chlorine becoming an ion chloride, extra electrons. So I have to add it right here to the side that needs more electrons. If you're looking totally balancing electrons, this side has two less, that has two more. So I have to put the two electrons right here to balance both sides. Okay, let's do another one. Let's do this copper. I erase this just so we have a little bit more room. Okay, oxidation numbers, these are really easy because on a monoatomic ion, so one atom with a charge, whatever the charge is, that's the oxidation number. So we're going to have a two plus and a three plus. Do our bracket and I'm figuring out did we gain or lose electrons? So here on the two plus, if this is my zero, we're down by two electrons. Over here, I'm down by three, one, two, three. So I'm going from down by two to down by three. How many electrons did we lose? I lost one. So we're going to lose one electron. And then I go to my saying, Leo, lose electrons oxidation. So this is oxidation. And then little reminder, whatever's oxidized is the reducing agent, has to force something else to gain electrons to be reduced. So whatever's oxidized is the reducing agent. And now I need to balance electrons. So I have one electron that's lost. Where do I write it? Do I write it on the reactants that are product side? And remember, you need equal electrons on both sides. It's going to be the product side. This side has one more electron. This, it lost the electron. Well, where is it? right there, sitting right there. So this balances the electrons between both sides. Remember, this was down by two, this one's down by three. Well, that electron it lost, there it is, to balance the electrons on both sides. Okay, let's come over here. 
Um, oxidation number on iron three plus. Charge is the same as the oxidation number, so it's going to be our uh, three plus. Iron solid is a zero. Let's draw our bracket. Okay, what's happening? Gaining or losing electrons. So here I'm down by three. Okay, so I'm down by three electrons and we end at a zero. So that means we had to gain three electrons to get to that perfect zero. I haven't gained or lost any electrons here. So we had to gain three electrons. What's that called? Gain electrons reduction. Grr. Gain electrons reduction. Okay, now we have to balance this. We need the same number of electrons on both sides. We gain three electrons. Where do I write those three electrons? Remember this was down by three and this is perfect. That means right here, you've got to add the three electrons. Those are the three electrons it's going to gain to become that perfect zero. So down by three, add three electrons and it becomes that iron at the zero. Okay, let's do one more. Tin, I like tin because it's, um, it's abbreviation, it's element um, symbols SN Stannis. Okay, we have a two plus and a four plus. Here's our big question, gain or lose electrons. So do this with me, do it in your head. Hopefully you see it right off. I'm down by two and here I'm down by four. So did it gain or lose electrons? It lost, how many? Two. It went from down by two to down by four. So it lost two electrons. So this is going to lose two electrons. And then when it loses two electrons, what's it called? Lose electrons oxidation. So there's your oxidation. Uh, which means this is going to be the reducing agent. Well, I don't think I put this up here because it's reduced as the oxidizing agent. Um, and now we have to balance it. So it loses two electrons. Where do we write those two electrons? Okay, I'm down by two, now I'm down by four. I must have two electrons over here floating around because we lost them, we lost them. There's two extra electrons that are no longer in that tin. Um, and you're maybe seeing a pattern here. It is true for uh, oxidation, the electrons are always on the product side and for reduction, the electrons are always on the reactant side. That is true, don't memorize it, just be able to figure it out. Okay, I have a lot of videos on Redox. If you need more help, anything here that I did that you're not sure how to do, go to my playlist, Redox, and you'll get exactly what you need. I'm proud of you. Keep up the good work. Thanks.